G'day, today is a couch set boulder day. What's a couch set you ask? Basically it happens like this. So I've got my board here on the Stoked app. And the idea is rather than scrolling through Instagram, I sit on the couch and set boulders. It's a twofold win on this one. Number one is that I don't get sucked into the Instagram vortex, which we've all been there. And number two, I get to connect with climbing. And I guess number three, which is sort of the point of all of this, is that you're given the opportunity to approach your setting with an open mind. Now, I feel like when I come under the house and I try and set myself a boulder, I've got my own biases for movement, for holds. Whereas when you sat on the couch, I kind of have a bit more of an open mind as to what's going on. And you come up with some kind of funky moves. I've got two boulders here today. Let's crack into them. For me, the benefits of this kind of setting is that I end up using my brain in a much more problem-solving manner. Oh man. It's so cool doing this because you just end up discovering such random, weird, different moves on the board that you're so familiar with. It's not really gonna work. I hurt my knee the other day. Went pop. Although I may sit with an intended sequence of left, right, left, right, when I'm on the couch, you can't really feel what that's gonna be like the same way you do in person. The eventual solution generally isn't what you envisaged while you're on the couch. And you kind of come up with these super funky and much more outdoorsy kind of sequences. It's so beneficial to be able to train that on the board, not just while you're out there on the rocks. <sighs> that little shoulder press, for example, I'd have never thought to have set that. But there it is, and that's actually quite a cool move. Just need to catch that crimp now. Oh. I also feel like I'm not held back by my own self-imposed limitations while I'm setting in person. Quite often I'll grab something and go, oh, no way, I don't think that's possible. And I'll just scrap it. Whereas when I've committed to it and I've set it, I kind of feel like I owe it to myself to try and work that out, and I find that super enjoyable. Ah, oh. quite chuffed with this boulder. It's maybe around 10-ish, plus or minus. That's gonna be a really good addition to the board. Let's give number two a try. All right, so I haven't tried this one yet. It looks harder than the first though. Let's see. It's actually kind of cool. Forgot, forgot where I was going there. Oh wow, yeah. Oh. Far out, that's a big move. Oh. Oh. 
Oh, that's cool. Like a weird double drop knee kind of thing. Wow, that's really cool actually. Where do we go from here? Oh, a struth. It's probably a dive over. Oh, jeez. I don't know if that's gonna work. It's like a really enormous move. Coming over this and even matching on that, it's gonna be gross and not entirely possible. And for everyone already commenting in the comments, there is that fort. No feet on wood, it's the rule. Audrey, my daughter, is the only one that is allowed to put her feet on the wood and even then she's not really allowed to put her feet on the wood. It's just not worth trying to enforce it with her. Parents out there of seven year olds, you know what I'm talking about. This move kind of illustrates quite well. One of the downsides to sitting on the couch is that sometimes you do end up with something that is just utterly futuristic and kind of silly and insane. Maybe it's just a matter of putting in a little scrabbly foot in there and then it'll all go. But I do think that just going through that process of setting and trying it with an open mind and trying to work things out. Actually, this isn't even planned. Um, it, was, it just just popped into my brain. I wonder. <laughs> yeah, no, that's. I promise that wasn't planned. Uh, but yeah, that's that's not going to work. Um, anyway, back to my point. Yeah, look. Sometimes it doesn't work out, but the cool thing is, is that you've gone through that process, you've explored the ideas, you've used that part of your brain that you use outdoors when you're trying to decipher a new sequence. Always try and make it sharp, keep it rolling, and have a good time on the board. Come back for. Excuse me.